We're gonna be going through the five no-code platforms you need to learn in 2022. We're gonna go through what the platforms are, how you can use it to get a job or to build your next project. And at the end, I'm gonna be showing you a super secret no-code tool that no one's talking about. Here are the five platforms. Number one, Softer. This is a platform where you can create web apps within minutes using the power of Airtable. Number two, good old Bubble. This allows you to create pretty much any type of web app that you're looking for and scale it wherever you're at in your business. Number three, we're looking at how to create automation in your business or with your own project. We're gonna go with Zapier. Number four, we're gonna go with Repurpose.io. This allows you to use automation like Zapier, but for content, for you to scale your messaging, scale your influence, and to get your message out there in the world. Number five is Third Web. If you're looking to get into Web3, dealing with NFTs, cryptos, DAOs, any of those things, this is the platform to learn right now. Let's go a little bit deeper in each of these platforms. For Softer, you can decide how you're going to be using it for your business. If we look at use cases, you can create client portals, internal tools, marketplaces, and the list goes on. Why do I like this so much? If you're working at a company right now, and perhaps you're working with the developers, but they're working on other projects, and you need to build out your prototype, your MVP, minimal viable product, you can be doing this with Softer. This has a, a very low learning curve because if you've used things like Squarespace, Wix, any kind of website builder, you can be using Softer. You're gonna be using small different components to be adding to the pages, adding blocks to the pages, all those things. And if you like those kind of things and you wanna know more about Softer, we did a whole video, how to get started, started for beginners, which allows you to go step-by-step -step how to use Softer. There's a bonus with using Softer as well because the backend, the database is using Airtable. Now, if you haven't used Airtable, this allows you to create a database with all of your information. But not only does it hold your information, you can do a lot of different things with Airtable itself. So the benefit, if you're looking for a no-code solution to build out your records or to streamline your processes, you can also be more familiar with Airtable. And I've seen several different companies post jobs and inquiries about people understanding or being proficient in Airtable. So this is like a superpower on it on its own. So you can learn software where you can create a, uh, a user interface. You can, the forward facing, you can create something that looks really nice on the front end, but you can be using the power of Airtable on the back end as well. In the comment section down below, let me know, are you looking for a job right now or are you trying to create your own side hustle? Next, we're gonna be looking at Bubble. Bubble does have a steep learning curve, but it is very powerful. So if you invest a lot of time on in the front end to learn this, you can pretty much build anything that you're looking for in the no-code space. And it can even go on the border of anything low-code as well, depending on what you're trying to build. But simply put, it can do a lot of things. The downside is a lot of people say they want to build a, a certain type of web app or a project, but they get frustrated or they just lose interest or they try to pivot and they spent so much time learning Bubble that they're actually behind on what they're trying to do where they could have just validated a lot quicker using something like Softer. This depends on where you're at and what you're doing. If you're going for the long, long game though, I've found a lot of different no-coders have used a lot of different other no-code platforms and then they end up spending the 50, 100, 200, 300 plus hours to be really good at Bubble. And then now they're equipped to build whatever they want and then they can move a lot quicker later on. There is a time commitment. There are several months that you have to commit and really focus on Bubble. But then from there, you can scale and create whatever you want. And one of the benefits of Bubble, it's one of the most advanced no-code platforms in the industry at the moment. And so you can use a lot of advanced plugins. You can create pretty much anything you're looking for. A SaaS company, a software as a service company, I've seen it done with Bubble and beyond. Next up, we're looking at Zapier. Zapier allows you to automate all of the boring work stuff that you have to do, or some of the stuff that you just are spending tons of time doing manually, you can just streamline using Zapier. Now, there are other platforms out there where you can 
you can use automation. Zapier has one of the most integrations and probably one of the most easiest platforms to use out there. So that is something to learn. And if you come into a business where you can become an automator or you're becoming a no-code engineer, and yes, there are different listings, people are looking for no-code engineers now, you can be really effective by using Zapier. And even if you don't under, if you are not proficient in a lot of other platforms that can connect with Zapier, you just understanding, if you understand how to map everything out, you can learn those other systems when the time come. So if you're proficient in Zapier, you can get a certification and all this stuff if you're really good at Zapier. That's just something that allows you to be a, another notch above everyone else when you're going to be looking for a job or something like that. On the flip side, if you're creating a web app, a lot of times if you're using Glide apps or pretty much anything, you can be hooking in using Zapier. Again, you can make whatever type of web app or project you're creating, it can have superpowers by having Zapier integrated with it as well. On the flip side of content, we're gonna be, on the flip side, if we're looking at automating content, we're looking at repurpose.io. I'm a huge fan, I've been using them for years and they keep getting better and better. In fact, they have a brand new interface, it just looks great. Using this platform allows you to be prolific. It allows you to get your message out there. Instead of thinking about where you're gonna be posting on all of these different sites, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, the list goes on and on, and you have to spend time doing this, you can publish once, and then it gets distributed to all of these other platforms. That's the power of repurpose.io. I have found that a lot of people get overwhelmed with this platform, so it's important to write down what are you planning to do with your content strategy, and where are you showing up on different social media sites, then build out what you're gonna be doing with repurpose.io. For us personally, our content starts with YouTube and then we go to other platforms, Twitter, LinkedIn, all of those things. So that is how we view our starting point of using repurpose.io. If you're creating a podcast and you're going there first, are you recording it in Zoom and then you need it to be uh, distributed to other things? You can do that as well. If you go to repurpose.io, you can also decide what persona best fits you. Are you a video creator? Are you a podcaster? From there, you can look at how you can start using your content, how you can use your clips, which are micro, micro content from your long form content, and how you can distribute it. You can be doing all of those things with repurpose.io. If you're interested in NFTs or DAOs or crypto in general, Web3 allows you to have the power of SDK, software development kits, to be used in whatever project you're creating with Web3. I would say this is on the border of no-code and low-code. You can do some things with no-code, and in fact, we've shown how to create your own NFT collection and do drops and all of those things, but there are some advanced things that you can use only with low-code at this time. They're adding things all the time, but I just wanna make sure that if you're looking at all of these options, creating tokens, drops, packs, marketplaces, depending on what you're trying to create, it might have to be on the low code side of the equation. So that's something to keep in mind. Overall, I love how fast the team is building. There are so many different ways to use this, including membership NFTs, public marketplaces like creating your own OpenSea, creating DAOs, which are decentralized autonomous organizations, PFP collections, blockchain games, um, shout out to SpaceNex. There are so many different ways that you can be using this platform and to really power the next version of what the web's gonna be. This is something to keep an eye on. And I've seen because this space is so new, this, you have a real opportunity to make some noise in this space, to get ahead of it, create projects for you to either consult or other companies, startups, to hire you it just depends on what you're trying to do and it's not just if you want to be a developer if you just want to create content or manage communities there are so many things you can be doing in web3 if you're interested in crypto and nfts we also have a second channel which is focused on web3 you'll see more of my live streams all of those things and we do most of the crypto stuff 
and NFTs and Web3. That's on the other channel. Now, here's a bonus. Marketplan.io. I said that a lot of people don't use it. I think this platform is totally underutilized in the no-code space, and people can be using it in a lot of different ways. What do I mean by that? You can plan to use Marketplan.io to create a bird's eye view of a marketing funnel. Now, why is this important? Well, if you now understand or can break down the logistics of a marketing funnel, you can be used for strategy, but also if you're trying to convey large ideas to a team and try to get everyone on the same page, you can be doing this. And so if you can not only balance out understanding the bigger picture, but also bringing teams together, this impacts a lot of different types of jobs, including if you're a solution architect, if you're trying to get a job as a chief of staff, the list goes on and on. If you now have the power of marketplan.io, you can be bringing this into fruition and now be a integral piece to your team. Marketplan.io not only allows you to plan out what the market plan looks like, but you also have options to have a calendar, Kanban to make sure everyone's staying on task of what they need to complete. And you can now create or simulate what the expected market will do. So you can actually use something where it's like plan, you you can toggle over there and look at the numbers. If we get this many people in the funnel, look at what the conversion rates would be, or you can even turn it on live where you're using a tracker and you put it on your different websites and now you can look at real-time data, what's happening with your marketing funnel and what you need to do to pivot or to change to make sure you're looking at that impact for your business. This is crucial. And not only do you have all these tools, if you're trying to do this as a side hustle, you could be just building your own marketing funnels and selling the plans. You can print out and export your PDFs or your JPEGs or whatever and sell the, that's what we do as well. Think about all the different things you can do with Market Plan. If you're interested in Market Plan, we have a whole video breakdown how to use it in your business as well. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. We do this every single week. And let us know what you're working on. Are you trying to create a side hustle? Are you looking for another job and you're trying to use the power of no code? Let us know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video.